Welcome back to Incibles. And it looks like SCSN is up about 21% since our video yesterday. I'm going to go over exactly which levels we need to break above to have a continuation as we are struggling with that $5 resistance. I want to make sure we do cover exactly which indicators we're looking for on this continuation and exactly where you guys can find these breakout alerts so you guys do not miss them again. And all I ask in return is you guys smash that like button and hit subscribe if you guys want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that we mentioned throughout the week. So let's jump into this one. So I'm going to go to the five minute chart with you guys here on SESN. And again, they do have news that is expected on August 18th for FDA news approval. I'm going to go over exactly which levels we need to break above to have a continuation leading into that news. Again, that is on August 18th. That's about six days from now. I want to make sure we do cover exactly which levels we're trying to break above and have a continuation major breakout into this news. And again, if we do not get this news, then we will have a major sell off. I want to make sure we do warn everybody before we do get into this and possibly even have a possible breakout on this is that if they do not have this news approved, then we could have a major sell off and this stock can possibly go down about 40 50 percent if that does not go through so i'm going to show you guys exactly how i would play into this one and again before we get started i want to mention that we do alert penny stock break alerts of the day we mentioned SESN yesterday on a possible continuation on our daily watch list, and we sure enough did break out today. We also have been waiting for momentum with SESN for quite a while. We have been mentioning them in our weekly watch lists, and we're looking to see if we can continue going to tomorrow, possibly leading into this news again. So again, with that said, if you guys want to see all our penny stock breakout alerts throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below. You guys will never miss a penny stock breakout alert again. We also do mention mid-cap stocks like ACY. We had multiple holds today. We mentioned ACY yesterday as well on multiple holds, and we had major breakouts yesterday with ACY. And ACY has been an absolute monster. So again, if you guys want to see all these breakouts, you guys know what to do. Go to instables.com and you guys will never miss a penny stock breakout alert to it again. So I'm going over SESN with you guys here on the five minute chart. So you guys can see what we're looking at going to today and then what we're looking at going to tomorrow as a possible continuation on the four hour chart. So you guys can see exactly which key levels we're looking out for. So you guys can see here on the five minute chart, we have been bouncing off the 20 to moving average throughout the day here on the five minute chart. And it looks like towards the end of the day, we are consolidating here on the 20 to moving average, looking to see if we can hold the 20 to moving average above the 50 to moving average to give us that momentum to continue going to tomorrow. But however, as you guys can see, we have been getting a lot of sell volume towards the end of the day, looking to see if we are going to consolidate leading into this news. Now I'm going to back up to the four hour chart so you guys can see what we're looking at for overall. So you guys can see that major resistance that we did mention yesterday, actually in our video was at $6 and breaking over $5 going to today was very key as again, $5 is very key for every penny stock. Um, but again, SESN, we did come up exactly to $5. We got rejected. We were hovering around $5, hitting around 502, 503, but not getting the volume we were looking for again we had volume previously on this spike all the way up to around three dollars and fifty cents and you guys can see overall we have not been increasing in volume too much but going into today we did have a nice spike looking to see if we can continue but again as you guys can see we have been decreasing in volume overall for quite a while but again we do have news that is expected in about six days so we could have a continuation on volume and in my opinion to have that confirmation on that continuation i would be sending an alert right above the volume point that we did have today on that breakout so that way if we do break above that volume point then we could have a continuation and more confidence on this momentum play if it does continue but again six dollars is a very key resistance as you guys can see here previously in the stock we did have multiple rejections at this point you guys can see we had a huge rejection at this point and had a continuation sell-off and have been consolidating since then and it looks like we are going to be trying to break above that six dollar mark again we are sitting around five dollars we could have a continuation going into six dollars but however as you guys can see we do not have the volume that we're looking for quite yet and also we do have a six dollar major resistance with no news again we are leading into news so again we are going to make sure we are careful make sure the play does come to us for that continuation and make sure we do hold over $5 going to tomorrow. If we cannot hold over $5 again with volume to have that confirmation on that push, then I will be waiting for this one to have more confirmation on the momentum. But again, we do have our alert set here for $6. So that way, if it does break over $6, then we will be checking for that news and also checking for that volume confirmation to have that major breakout. And in my opinion, we will get that volume confirmation as soon as we do get that FDA news. So if you guys want to put that volume alert here, then I would be setting one right above this point here that we did have when we broke up to around $3.50. So you guys can see this major volume spike here. I'm going to go up to the volume here on the top left. You click these three dotted lines here and you guys can add an alert here and you guys just put it right above our previous volume point that we did have. So that way, if it does break above it, then we could have that confirmation that we're looking for on that FDA approval. And that's an easy way to find this news without having to look at the news itself. But again, that is my opinion. This is not financial advice. This is only what I would be doing. And also you guys can see here on the MACD, again, this is the buy pressure. We had the EMA lines above the MACD showing us that we could continue. And sure enough, that's exactly what did happen. As you guys can see, we also did get an increase in buy pressure, looking to see if we can break above this buy pressure point going to tomorrow. And in my opinion, you guys can see this double top here on this buy pressure that we had previously. If we can break above that buy pressure, in my opinion,
opinion, then we could have that continuation breaking into that $6 mark. But again, that's only to test that $6 mark as we are having FDA approval that is expected coming in six days or so. So again, we are going to look to see if we can continue on with buy pressure to have a continuation past $5 to test that $6 mark. And if we do break over $6, again, we do need a lot of volume breaking above that $6 mark because we could get rejected and possibly come back down if we do not get that FDA news approval by then. So again, we are going to keep SESN on the watch. And again, I did scalp this one throughout the day, but I am not going to be holding this one until it does break out with volume and with that news. And again, I want to make sure I make it clear that I'm not holding this one going into the news. I'm only going to be watching this one for breaking that alert. And I will be scalping this one as soon as it does hit that news if it does. And again, we will have this alert set for $6. So that way we can check that volume as soon as it does happen to see if the news did come out at that point in time. But I do want to make sure we are clear that we're leading into FDA news expected. But again, this is not FDA news that is guaranteed. So so we could have a continuation sell off like I did mention earlier. So again, we are going to be careful. Make sure the play does come to us and make sure we do get that volume confirmation. Again, that's why we get rejected on the price action. Again, the price action is not the only thing that matters within these charts. We need to make sure we do get more confirmation on momentum. Again, I want to make sure we do get more confirmation on this breakout and make sure the play does come to us and make sure we are playing patient. And again, with that said, if you guys want to see all our penny stock breakout alerts throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below. You guys will never miss a penny stock breakout alert through that again. And everybody that has been supporting the channel and everybody that has been in the comment section, I appreciate everyone of you guys as always. Much love to you guys. And if you guys do like this video, it does help others find it and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.